Wakey, wakey. We've got the show. To the animals. We've got the show. Yeah, I do talk to the animals. We've got the show to do, Jean Claude. Will you? Are you going to be on? Yeah. No, he said he doesn't want to be here because Lincoln upsets him too much. What do you mean? You've been upsetting the little hamster again, Lincoln. He's trying to sleep, but he's got a little bedroom up there, Craig. Oh, why? Oh, don't bother panning off, Craig. It's boring. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to MTV's Most Wanted, beaming to you live from London Town into the rest of Europe, wherever you are in Europe. Do join us as we go live and interactive and interracial for 90 minutes. Good evening, Craig. Hello, Europe. Hello, Craig. How are you? How come you're, how come you're back all the time these days? I don't know. Don't talk about my back. Hey? Eh? I just don't mention my back. What the hell are you wearing today again? <laughs> do you cameramen... <laughs> do you cameramen have no sense of dress or what? No. Uh, what are you... <laughs> Look at your shoes and... <laughs> Crying. They don't pay me. It's <laughs> pathetic. And I see you've got a little bit of rope for the weekend as well. Hey? Yeah. Eh? Is that all you can get these days? A little bit of rope. Thanks, Lincoln. That's my payment. Excellent. Hello. Of course, there is one superbly dressed person here in the studio. And that's me. Uh, there's also someone else superbly dressed, and uh, let's face it, if she wasn't dressed, she'd still be superbly undressed. It is, of course, the one and only Naughty Nympho Nina, without whom we'd be on a lad's night out discussing football and cricket. <laughs> Good evening, Nina. Hello, Peach Dumpling. Hello, my little love muffin. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Is it, uh, oh, you're sick. You feel sick, Curtis? I've got a message for Curtis. Nina? Yes? Darling, could I have the little green uh, pink envelope that I normally have for the... Um, Faxes and letters and things, you know, that one I take to the restaurant every night. Is that a Versace suit? <coughs> no, no, not Versace suit, Lincoln. He knows all about fashion, doesn't he, Lincoln? It's a minute, one. We've got lots of things happening in the show tonight, but um, uh, I want to find that fax first. Uh, here, here comes Nina, running across the studio in her Kylie Minogue shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nina. Uh, Craig, you all right? He's, he's not sure about these five camera shoots. It, it is worth it, this, I promise you. Now, there's a fax in here about that mentions... There's a letter, actually, Nina. And it mentions Curtis, and I wanted to talk to her. It mentions Curtis. I think, is it that one? No, it's not that one. It's not that one, it's not that one. It must be this one. I hope it is. I hope it is. No, it's not that one either. <laughs> Sorry, Lincoln, it is worth it. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll look for it while, um, whilst I give you... The... <laughs> if, you uh, if you want to interact with us, God knows why you do. If you do, it's as easy as faxing or phoning. We have the numbers over to Wicked Will McDonald to explain more how you can interact with us. Feeling a bit sheepish. <laughs> hey! It's Flossie, is it, Craig? It is. Do you remember, do you remember Flossie? You should go out more. <laughs> um, now... Um, a, a quick message here for uh, the person who has made the uh, new All Improved Most Wanted, basically new and all improved. Wild Wicked Old MacDonald has no life but to um, make this show better for you. A message for here from Adri van den Wittenborg. Hello, Adri. Um, some of it I can't read out at all, but uh, ignore one of the lines. Look, here's a message for Wicked Will. Well, hey, Mad MacDonald, we saw you yesterday, because he's desperate to get on TV. Uh, don't read that bit. But, my God, when did you buy those glasses? In 1870? <laughs> it's true, isn't it, Craig? That's what he's old. Yes, Will, would you like to answer your public will? No. Uh, yeah. Get on with it. I'm getting on with it, but I haven't got a script. Look, this is all I've got to work off. I haven't helped you for the last nine years. Oh, shut up, Will. OK, Craig, what are you bothering with? Script. No, we're on to something else now. <laughs> Tune into tonight's show, which you already are, and hopefully we're keeping you here on MTV, and you'll witness a band you may not have heard of before, but you're going to be hearing a lot more of in the future because they're half tip for the top. They're already doing very well here in the UK. Well, that's killed them, isn't it? <laughs> they're doing very well here in the UK, and we hope that the rest of Europe will follow suit very soon. This is tonight's special guest. Do we have them on video, Craig? Let's hope so. Cast, ladies and gentlemen. Cast or cast, if you prefer. That's tonight's special guest star band. Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln. Hello. Oh, look at him showing off, Craig. Look at the sort of angle he's got for us now. <laughs> brilliant, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> um, Lincoln. I know you've noticed all of the young, beautiful ladies that isn't summer a wonderful time? No one wears any clothes. It's fantastic. Uh, but you did you notice the man in the middle? I saw him. It's Hawaii Five-0. Hello. Uh, hello. hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, who, uh, what's your name? It's John. Hello, John. Where are you I, from? I'm from Denmark. He's from Denmark? Yeah. And where does the shirt come from? Uh, from Hawaii, I think. 
He's talking to the camera, right? Is he putting it on for the camera? <laughs> Does he always talk like that, Lincoln? He's like, it's from Hawaii, I think. Hi there. No, he talks like that all the time, so let's not point it out. Okay, uh, we'll be meeting Club Bed a little later on because there's a lot of very interesting people and a lot of very beautiful people. They're all models again, Neil, aren't they? Sorry. Told you to get normal people, not models. Before we go to tonight's, tonight's first phone call, uh, here's a letter from someone. Uh, it's from Eva from Belgium. Are we phoning her up? No. no. Uh, Eva, thank you very much for your letter. You say you wasn't quite sure about the new series, but then you give us your opinions, and it's very good. Clean Our Souls is fantastic, the highlight of the show. Well done, Craig. Thanks to pathetic Pat, you say. Underwear Everywhere is exciting, new, frivolous, and sometimes a good example of bad taste. The new goodie bag seems a lot of fun, um, but blah, 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 blah. Curtis... <laughs> On the, on the other hand, wants to show off. And so he pretends to be cool and tough. But deep underneath, he's a very sensitive guy. Uh, uh, you're very soft, right? You are very soft, guys. Yeah, he's very soft in the head. Robbie sounds like a St Bernard who ate too many cookies. <laughs> this is apparently a compliment, Robbie. Um, Nina has this nice little laugh. <laughs> oh, there it is, there it is. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't boom it though, so you might not have got that. Nina has this nice little laugh that makes the, the sun shine, the birds sing, and the butterflies fly. And of course, Aww. it's lovely, and of course brings you those little tingles down in your trousers. That's what Nina does. And you, Ray, you look a bit like Ernie, and, <laughs> and Wicked Will like Bert. <laughs> Who's Ernie and Bert? Sesame Street. Yeah. Do I look like Ernie? Uh, no. Does Will look like Bert? Yeah. Yes, oh, good! So we know, I must watch Sesame Street and find out. Okay, so, shall we, so we won't find out if anyone's on the live phone. We've run, out of, we've run out of time because there are too many people talking at the same time as me. Uh, let's talk I to... we weren't allowed to talk. No, you're not allowed shut to talk. Shut up! You see? Let's He's talk... He's telling you to shut up. Is he? <laughs> oh, I'll shut up then. Anya. No, where are you from? Germany. Why am I doing this again? <laughs> I always have to bow you out, mate. Bow me out? Yeah. Let's speak to someone on the phone at home. Thank you very much. The reason the show has been so loose so far for the first five minutes is because we didn't have a script, but now we do. So let's see what we'll be doing. Oh, on the show, different. we'll be destroying a much-loved object. Thanks, Robbie. Showing most wanted viewers in their underwear. Talking to the audience on Club Bed. Playing the fab Ray's arcade goodie bag. Well, it's the same as every night, really, Craig. So let's talk to someone on the phone at home who's there right now and waiting to talk to all of us here in the studio. It's Edwina de May. Hello, Edwina. Hello, Ray. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Have How you had are a good you? day? Yes, very good. What day. have you been up to? Uh, working. Working? Yes. Uh, had any sex yet? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you? Well, I wasn't offering any. <laughs> uh, Edwina, you're a regular, aren't you? Yes, very. <laughs> uh, good. So you're eating the right food. Um... <laughs> Uh, is there anything you'd like to talk to us about? Because I don't want to bore you with all the normal rubbish. You're a regular viewer, so is there anything you'd like to say to us? No, I just like the show, so I watch every day, almost. Almost every day? Yes. Um, have you ever been anywhere... So have you had... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have you... Um, Oh, it's just wicked Will's telling me to say things, and it's so boring, I can't be bothered. Are laughing Are they laughing at Lincoln? Lincoln, there's people laughing at you. Ray, can I ask you something? Edwina? Yes, I have a problem. You have a problem? Yes, I can't convince my friends to come to uh, Cologne. You can't contact your friends? No, con convince. I'll tell you why, because you spend too much time watching this show and not enough time with your friends. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. OK, so why don't they want... They think you're crazy. Crazy? I'm crazy. <laughs> hey! And oh, they think I'm crazy watching you. Yeah, So do, what can I do? Do they? Yes. Don't they know it's the only interactive interracial intercourse type <laughs> show on the TV? Yes, but yes. They can you name me any other TV programme that joins together so many lovely people from so many different <laughs> countries? I know. Apart from Dallas, Dynasty, and... Uh, Beverly Hills 90210. Beverly Hills 90210. Models Inc. Models Inc, yes, thanks. Star Trek. OK, Edwina. They're boring. <laughs> Edwina. Yes. Is there anything... How can we convince them to come to Cologne? I don't know. Really? I've tried everything. Um, it's got a big cathedral. It's got a very big cathedral. <laughs> um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I tell you what, don't bother bringing them. We've got enough people who want to come anyway. Yeah. I don't want to come alone. We won't be alone, Edwina. <laughs> Hi, Craig. It's far too early for those sort of jokes, Craig. 
innocent. It wasn't an innocent one. Edwina said, I don't want to come alone. And you said, well, most people don't. <laughs> and you... Oh. oh, sorry. Sorry, it's a bit early. It's quite good fun coming alone. Craig, will you stop it? Do you know how early it is? Hi, Craig. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. I'm glad he's back too. <laughs> well, I was. Martin's not. He'll be glad no. to see the back of me, probably. All right, Edwina. Yeah. Are you in your bedroom? That's yeah. the most important thing I have to ask you this evening. Yes. Can we go to bed together? <laughs> yes. You don't sound so sure. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Whatever you want to say. I don't want to force anything on you that you don't want. <laughs> I think we should have an equal relationship here, Edwina. Yes, of course. And if you don't want to, I won't push it. <laughs> so, do you think we should go to bed together or not? Okay. <laughs> Are you a Flemish Belgian? Yes. Not so I can't charm you with my French then. No. Edwina? Yes. Ik Yeah. I don't believe you. God van Domme. Oh, don't curse. Salut in de kost. And the wind van achter. And the wind van achter. <laughs> I'm a multi cunning linguist, I am. <laughs> Um, that's the only word you know. That's the only word I know, yes. So, Edvina. Yeah? The point of the matter is, everyone in Europe wants to know, are you going to sleep with me? Not tonight. <laughs> OK, then, shall we just go to bed together quickly? <laughs> OK. Because that's what I normally do. Yes, that's what I'm normally good at. Thanks, Craig. I'll do my own jokes. I'll laugh at, my, I'll laugh at myself most of the time, OK? Edvina. Yeah? Are you in your bedroom? Yes. Good. I wish we'd come up with a new idea by now, but we haven't. OK, you're in your bedroom. What sort of bedroom is it? Is it a big bed, double bed, small bed, single bed, double bed, bunk bed? <laughs> I must say, I live in a cellar. Water bed. Water so bed, camp bed, <laughs> flower bed. I must say, I live in a cellar, so I must watch out for the ceiling. You must say you live in a what? In the cellar. You live in a cellar? Yes. So I must watch out for the ceiling. Ooh. Is it a what, a salt cellar, wine cellar? <laughs> Flower cellar? No, I live here. I was going to say that. So it's just a cellar. You live in a cellar? Yes. Well, it's a proper cellar, though, isn't it? Yes, of course. It's, got, it's an apartment in a cellar? Yeah. You're not a homeless person who's sleeping no. in the cellar of someone's rich person's house? No. Fine. Because I get that in my house all the time. It's terrible. Um, OK, so you're in the cellar. Yes. And uh, what is your bedroom like? Does it have posters on the wall? <laughs> yes. Aha! What sort of posters on the wall? None that you are interested in. You never know until you try me. Because I won't tear them up. I've, who said I want to get... Have you got any rock set posters? No. Well, I'm not going to ask you to tear them up then, am I? I'm sure you won't ask us to tear this up because it's a, a, a poster of you from uh, that bank in Belgium. Is it? Yes. That bank commercial idea. Bank robbery. Yeah. <laughs> bank robbery. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's nice to have Craig back, you know. Um, not that bad. Oh, you've done the best joke now. I can't bother. <laughs> I can't be bothered, really. I don't know why I do this job. Everyone else got funnier jokes than I have. Uh, Edwina, so it's a poster of that bank commercial idea. Yes. That's uh, very nice. Uh, any other poster at all? About you and Cry. Don't know if you know them. You and Cry? Yeah, know them. So, do you look at me every night before you go to sleep? No, I don't want to have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nina. How many times have we slept together? Millions. Have you ever had nightmares? No, not yet. Thank you, Nina. There we go. We, you know why we don't have nightmares, Nina? Because we don't do much sleeping, do we? <laughs> <laughs> so if you believe that, you'll believe anything. OK, Edvina. Yeah? We've got a bed. Is it a single bed or a double bed? Single bed. Oh, it's a single bed? Yes. Why don't you have a double bed? <laughs> because I live alone. Yeah, but you never know who you're going to meet. I studied here. So I started here when I was about... 18. Yeah. So I think um, the persons who own this house only have single beds in this house. And um, have you sort of um, <laughs> moved two people in a single bed? <laughs> Not for you to know. I think she has, hasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she has. <laughs> OK, Edvina, yeah? uh, that's enough of your personal life. What's your most wanted video? Spearhead. Spearhead, good choice. Did you, do you like them just because they came on the show? No. I love the sound. Okay, good. We love them too. But to play that video for you, we're going to have to put you on a little test. Okay. And the little test is to see if you can give us 20 oh yeses in 10 seconds whilst jumping up and down on your bed. But the ceiling's a bit low, isn't it? Yes. So perhaps we ought to do the adaptation and where you could sit and jump up and down. Because <laughs> yes. I like that one. Okay? Yes. Uh, what is the Flemish for oh yes? Oh yeah. 
Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Okay. Would you rather say? Would you rather say ooh yeah or oh ray? No, no. Ooh yeah. That's ooh. enough. <laughs> Difficult tonight to get them to like me. Okay, Advina. We'll give you ten seconds from Wicked Will's cock in his bedroom. I would like uh, uh, the bed to to um, do the same. You'd like club bed to do yes. the same. If they want to. If you want to. Well, they can't jump up and down because they'll break it, but they might be able to sit and <laughs> jump up and down. Let's ask Wicked Will, old MacDonald. He said all right. Club Bed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are, there any, are there any members of Club Bed who don't know how to do this? Oh, there's always one, isn't there? <laughs> do you want to go to the toilet? Thanks, <laughs> Show-offs. Show-offs. Come on along. Okay. Club Bed? Up and down with Edwina, 20 times of, oh yeah, what is it again in Flemish? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And, okay, good luck to Edwina. Club Bed will give you a countdown from three to one, okay? Yeah. Good luck. Club Bed? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Oh yeah, 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 o
It's, it will all be explained later. On August the 17th, we are in Cologne, live on the road in Cologne with a live Most Wanted Spectacular. Although, I won't say spectacular, because then your expectations will be too high. And a top TV friend I'm of mine... I'm not going for a start. Aren't you? No. Oh, Craig. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Anyway, on with the show. Uh, August the 17th, we'll be there it's without the Craig. And, yes, Craig won't be there, but we will be there. We'll have a couple of bands playing live, and uh, the normal underwear everywhere and clean our souls and stuff, hopefully, will be all live in front of you. Now, there's a few thousand tickets available all over Europe, but more important than that, we'd like to give to you, the real most wanted friend, at home right now, front row seats or stand-up places, so that we can actually see you right there in the front rows and we all know that you're all regular we have 300 of them to give away we've almost given away all of them <coughs> can't talk properly craig um but we still <laughs> have a few left in, i know got a long teeth in today we've got a few tickets left all you have to do is give us a quick call we have an answer phone that is manned or womaned by pathetic pat 24 hours tape. a day but it's got a 15 minute tape on it so please be patient as the beeps tell you you have to wait give us a call uh have we had the numbers up yet you would have thought they would have put the numbers up while i was waffling on about <laughs> rubbish wouldn't you there's number to phone if you're on the continent your international access code which uh, in most places is zero zero four four seven one shouldn't that be one seven one it should four God, is that... four four one seven one <laughs> it's pathetic isn't it it's pathetic four eight two seven thousand and two and if you're in the uk you don't need to phone your international access code because you're already here so it's oh one seven one four eight what? Something happened there. Did something happen there? Did someone forget to put the one in? No, it's back now. All right, fair, there we go. 482 7002. Give us a call and uh, please be patient and just write the numbers down if it's engaged. Yeah, the phone is open 24 hours a day, so please just give us a call at any time of the day. Leave your name and number and how many tickets you want and we'll phone you right back over the next couple of days to give you the tickets. Okay, it's that simple. We want to have fun with you in Cologne. Sun will come around. Time to go to the toilet in between the things these days, do we? It's a joke. Was it a joke that I missed? Yeah. No. Um, wasn't that a fine song, fine time? And Cast will be back later on this evening. But um, even more interesting than that, we are the only show that cares enough about you to change club bed every 15 minutes. If you have a look now, we've got a new club bed for you. Lincoln! Look at the ladies at. Hey, hang on a minute. Those troublemaker boys in here, they were there before. And the Hawaiian shirt man is still there? Yeah. And his lovely girlfriend wife? <laughs> oh uh, well, you never know, Nina, do you? No, 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 and um, there's quite an attractive blonde girl uh, sort of sitting next to them. Uh, quite attractive. Uh, no, that's Catherine Nord. Don't let don't speak to her. Hello. Hi. Hi. Catherine? Catherine Nord, ladies and gentlemen, is the girl that live on Most Wanted's last series, <laughs> and she's actually sitting here in club bed. The cheek of it on the last Most Wanted series. <laughs> She was at home on the phone and she read my palm and she analysed my handwriting. And what did she find out? The truth! <laughs> You've got hairs on your palm! What did you find out, Catherine Nord? Oh, you must know better, don't you? Can you read my palm? <laughs> you have to write something down. Alright, oh, I'll do that a bit later. Sorry, Ray, carry on. Oh, Lincoln, uh, right, well, I'll just ignore then, me, then, will you? Sorry. Catherine Nord found out that I can't say it, it's far too early, but that I do something far too much. With yourself? With myself, Nina. A bit of a Sherman. <laughs> Great, what, this is not the pub, you know. They said that on VH1. This is a live TV show that goes out all across Europe. OK? Now, just be, remember that and be responsible, Craig. Catherine, uh, about ten past ten Central European time, I'd like you to tell Europe what I do too much. OK, no problem. Fine, because we'll be able to talk about it then. <laughs> right. um, in the meantime, Craig, you, this man writes to you from Slovenia every time that we mention Craig Cam's back. Um, you're the best, Craig, 
brilliant jokes and hey. camera shots. That's Dayan Slabar in, 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 in Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny, Lincoln. <laughs> All the cameramen and all the sound men and, and Curtis, whatever he does, they all laugh at each other's jokes. But when I have a joke, do they laugh? No. So if you've got any jokes for me, please do help out an ageing TV we presenter try, try. who used to be good. And all of your jokes, please send them to this address on the internet now. VH1 for you. There it is. What? What was going on there? It's the yes. internet. It's very yes. modern. Technology. Yeah, technology. Uh -huh. Internet rage hacks. Oops. MTV's most wanted. Okay. P.O. Box 1384. London. A001. A2. Mama. Yes. Door tagging Ray. In England, of course. <laughs> Ray Ralph. <laughs> Sir. G. Ray. Ray is the best. Yeah, How did it go? You can't cool. ring them up, they're on the internet. Hi Ray, this is your old friend Banana speaking. Banana, he's lovely Banana. First of all, here's your yes, pint of beer. Back Cheers. to me, Will! <laughs> hey, that's the address to ride to. Thank you all of our friends. Isn't it amazing they've all got the same voice? Yes, Craig, it's amazing. Um, okay, um, now, uh, uh, don't, forget, don't forget, you can't, uh, there's no, you write to us with your underwear everywhere, but it's not much point anymore, although, unless you're really quick, because we're over in two and a half weeks, we'll be on holiday again, and then we'll come back for the last ever series of MTV's Most Wanted. It shall never be again next year. Craig, tell another funny joke. Shut up, Curtis! Just of one. Craig? Yeah? It's time to... Guess the celeb! <laughs> You try. <laughs> you try and bring people new funny ideas, and what do they do? They bring hark back, back the to ones. the old days. It's too late, Craig. We've got a better idea, and we didn't ask you about it. Wicked Will McDonald and me came up with it on our own. <laughs> Here it is. It's time to clean our souls. <laughs> It's a cheap joke, that was. <laughs> right, OK, time to clean our souls. Let's have a bit of decorum here in the studio. Is that the right word, yeah, Nina? Yeah, yeah. What do you know? I do. You do? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I know you do. Right, it's time to clean our souls. So, Nina, yeah. can I have the letter, please? I just gave it to you. Did you? I just gave it well, to you. Well, it doesn't seem to be on my desk anywhere, Craig. Can you see the letter for clean our souls anywhere? Then it's down there. Down there, Nina. I think you better come and have a look, Nina. <laughs> Nina, you better have a look if it's down there. Oh, it's what not. A mess. Uh, Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is down there, Nina. What's it doing down there? You put it down there. I didn't put it down there. Get on with it. I'm getting on with it, Will. There's people you have to work with here, and the microphone's falling off. Right. Who's stolen the hamster? <laughs> you can't trust club bed, can you? It's time to clean our souls, ladies and gentlemen, and I shouldn't have taken so long because this letter is very long, but very, very interesting. So settle down, get yourself a drink or some cans of piss, and enjoy this one because this is a very, very good letter. Um, it's Dana from Israel, and it's a fascinating story, and it will culminate in the longest ever camera walk in TV history. I know my story sounds unbelievable, Ray, but it did happen and it still hurts. I hope the music's long enough for this. I'm 19 years old, says Dana from Israel. When I was 12, my parents got divorced and I lived with my mum. My mum is very young and although she tried her best to be my best friend, we didn't get along very well. <laughs> Listen, this is a very interesting story. The house was always filled with my mum's boyfriends who stayed overnight. I think this is the reason why I found it very difficult to trust men. Until I met Alan in the winter of 94. We met at the cinema. We were both alone and we looked at each other all through the film. Terrible. When we went outside it was raining and he gave me his umbrella so I wouldn't get wet. I fell in love with him immediately and he was Ray, my first love. I loved Alan so much I was willing to give him everything, including my virginity. And I have. 
It was fantastic. He was considerate, tender, and loving. It was the first time I felt like a real woman. I feel like a real woman now, don't you, Craig? So do I. <laughs> and a couple of months after we started seeing each other, Alan met my mum. They clicked immediately. Uh-oh. The more we dated, the closer I felt to him. I trusted him completely, and I told him about my problems with my mum. Surprisingly, though, instead of supporting me, he told me how lucky I was to have such an open and liberal mum. After six months, I got a phone call from my friend. After six months, I got a phone call from my friend. She was very upset and she told me that she'd seen Alan and my mum flirting in a pub. Of course, I didn't believe her. I was very angry and I didn't speak to her again. I tried my best to forget the telephone call, but I couldn't. I started to notice the way they looked at each other. It wasn't just a look between friends. It was as if they were flirting with their eyes. Furthermore, I realised he always told me to dress as sexy as my mum, to use her lipstick and her perfume. I was very suspicious and decided to check for myself. Two months ago, he told me he was going on a trip with a friend. Uh-oh! We're in trouble. <laughs> That's where I got it from. The following morning, I saw that my mum wasn't home. And no one had... Craig, this is going to get good now, Lincoln. In the following morning, I saw my mum wasn't home and no one had slept in her bed. I decided to go to his apartment by surprise. Uh-oh! We're in trouble. <laughs> when I arrived, the door was open. I entered into the room and then I saw both of them, my mum and Alan, naked on the couch. I was shocked. My mum and my boyfriend having sex. I can remember. Uh-oh! I live with my dad now. <laughs> In my new room, there isn't one thing Alan gave me, except this disgusting bear. And it, it is pretty damn awful, isn't it? You sure it's not a pig? I don't know why I've kept it, Ray, but I think it's time I let it go. And, and I want you, Ray, to help me. The more violently you destroy it, the better I will feel. And that's the point of Clean Our Souls. Drown it, burn it, saw it in half. I don't care, just as long as you don't take it to that restaurant across the street. <laughs> don't know why. Why not? Dana, have a last look at this horrible thing that Alan gave you. As we take it on its last ever journey, which is the single longest journey for a cameraman in, T by in TV history, it's devised by Craig. Say goodbye, Cub Bed. Bye! Say goodbye to a little teddy bear. Now try and keep up, Craig. This teddy bear is going on its... Come on, Craig. <laughs> Let's challenge Annika. Oi! <laughs> it's Cars, what are you doing? It's Cub Bed. Hello, Cub Bed. This is club bed two, yeah. that's where they go. All right, Craig. It's exciting, isn't it? Where's the second camera? Over there with Andy Cam. Ah, this is it. This is the skills. Ah, so Andy Cam can't actually do this bit. Well, we can. Very good. OK. So we're going to take this little teddy bear, Dana, from, is from Israel, on its last journey. Out this door, Craig. Or that door over there? That's that door over there? <laughs> you know what? I'm just thinking about this though. What? Let's need some ice cream. Excellent. But never later. We'll have to pay for this normally. <laughs> right. I'm just thinking though, Craig. <laughs> this little teddy bear, innocent, was stuck in the middle between Dana and Alan and the mum. Maybe we shouldn't actually... <laughs> Nearly ripped his arms off then. So... It's locked! Oh. There's another camera over there, Craig. Hello, Martin. Hello. We were, you just ruined our, our single... Hello, Cubbed. How are you? 
Got beds everywhere. Martin, you've just ruined our longest TV shot in history. This camera broke. Craig, apparently your camera broke. It didn't work. We're sorry, mate. We'll try it again next week. <laughs> well, I was just saying, maybe this little teddy bear should have a nice time. It's not its fault that people are horrible. Why should we destroy everything like that? I don't think we should. I think we should give it a nice little time. So what we've done is we've just done a little beach scene here for the little teddy bear so it too can have its own summer. There's all the bit. There's Robbie from Take That, in case you're wondering where he is. Yes, he's in San Tropez at the moment. And look. Look what, do you know what that is, Mark? Do you know, do you know what that is? Will you stop doing my jokes? That was the only joke we had, Martin, and you ruined it. This is a barbecue. That's the way I tell them. Shall we see that joke again? Shall we? No, it wasn't good enough. OK, so there we go. We're not going to destroy this, Dana. We're going to give it a nice time so it has a little life of its own. So come with me, little teddy. Where's our top chef? Are we supposed to have a top chef here? Is it me? Oh, it's typical. Pathetic Pat, where's he gone? Pat? I'm going to pub, probably. OK, I've got an apron or something. OK, all right. That's a hat, though. That's a hat. I know, Cody, it's what a hat is. I used to be a chef. All right. I can't do that.